Think of the thing you're most afraid of, like heights or public speaking. To defeat that very real dread, people are turning to a virtual world. The first way to face your fears, virtual reality apps. Let's download the app from the Oculus Gear VR store. You can choose between cityscapes or landscapes or try them both. Using the app and your VR headset, you can take a stab at things like crossing a suspension bridge. There are tons of apps tailored to specific phobias. I've been practicing presenting with the Gear VR and an app for fear of public speaking. Next up, virtual reality therapy. We talked to John Sockle, director of marketing at Limbix. So Limbix is a system that therapists control virtual worlds that their patients go into. They'll create levels depending on how fearful a patient is feeling. A level one for someone who has just been in a car accident and is afraid of driving might be cruising down the street. Then the therapist can adjust the patient's reality by changing the scenario. What would it feel like to drive in the rain at night across the bridge, you know, uh, on a high speed freeway? And that might be like a nine or a 10. Then they can work together to put the phobia in the rear view mirror. And so this is something where it looks real world, feels real world, but the therapist has full control over it. And finally, using VR to escape reality. Some people's fears are focused on places that are hard to avoid, like the dentist. It's very, very rare when someone comes in and says, I love the dentist. So you nervous today? Very. Offices like this one in Tennessee offer virtual reality goggles, allowing patients to feel transported. Anything in particular you want to watch today? You can escape to the beach, the mountains, or into your favorite movie. So it feels like you're there in the moment. It takes your mind off of everything else that's going around. Putting panic in the past with virtual reality is on the top of the list.